But wait, I have AutoCut now. The best Premiere Pro plugin for automating manual tasks that take forever but shouldn't. It's now in DaVinci Resolve with four amazing features. First, I'll import all my footage into the timeline. Then I'll set an in and out point. As you can see, this is nine minutes worth of footage. Then I'll go to workspace, scripts, AutoCut. From the homepage, I'll choose AutoCut silences. I'll confirm my in and out points. And then here for the noise level, I've chosen minus 20 decibels. Then these are my settings here. I switch the after padding to 100 milliseconds, I think is better. And then I usually generate a preview, which gives me a good idea of how it will do and if I should readjust my settings. If I'm happy with the preview and I'm not doing any adjustments, I'm simply pressing cut. Here I'll leave the whole process uncut just to see how fast it will cut 9 minutes worth of footage. The way it works is AutoCut will create a duplicate timeline where your cut footage will be. And here as you can see, the whole footage is neatly cut and the silences are removed. And just like that I got rid of all of the dead space in this footage without even breaking a sweat. The second feature is AutoCut Podcast. I actually don't have multicam podcast footage but let's go through the settings one by one and check them out. Make sure that your whole podcast is in one timeline. From here we add our speakers which is basically the audio track of speaker number one and speaker number two. Here we can even name our speakers, from here we can delete or add a speaker. From cameras here we assign each uh, video track to a selected speaker so for example video track number one might have the speaker from audio number one. Here we define the minimum and maximum duration a camera will be displayed before changing. We have a few presets like calm, paste, energetic. Then we need to tell AutoCut what to do with the silent video clips. We can either disable or remove them. If you select remove, AutoCut will delete the unused clips. And if you just click on disable, it will just disable them. So they're still there if you need to use them. So that's about it for the podcast feature. Now let's jump to the more interesting one, the AutoCut captions. So after selecting the auto captions option and confirming the in and out points, we reach the language selection menu. And here, like many other AI subtitle plugins, AutoCut offers a lot of languages, over 80. I'll try Bulgarian, should be hard enough. After the transcribing process, we arrive at the customization tab, which doesn't lack of options. We can edit the style in many ways, so it fits our own likings. We can change the font, the animation, the outline, and even add a text box. Be careful with the fonts as not all are compatible with all languages, but you probably knew that. For the lazy, there are even community presets which are very useful. Now let's see how the AI did with transcribing in Bulgarian by clicking on edit transcription and look for any mistakes that the AI might have made. If you want to edit a word, click on it and simply edit it in the text box. If you have two words like here, when you click on the slash, it will separate them. To delete a whole word out, click here. I'll quickly go through the transcription and edit the whole thing, then click on save and then add captions. As you can see, it was really fast. Now I can go through the subtitles which are displayed in an adjustment clip and readjust their duration to fit better in my clip. Okay, when you consider the fact that, yeah, you should spend a few minutes editing the transcript, it does really well and it's quite fast. This feature gets a big thumbs up. Last but not least, auto zoom. Almost every talking head on YouTube combines jump cuts, with zooms. AutoCut will not only remove your empty space but add zoom ins too. Select auto zoom and confirm the in and out points. First we see a zoom preview where you can set an anchor point and a maximum zoom. Then we have the option to choose from a presets that include calm, paste, energetic and Mr. Beast. Or we can change any of the settings ourselves. We have two zoom types, smooth and dynamic. Smooth is a continuous zoom in and dynamic is just a zoomed in clip. Enable both to have a mix or choose one. 
This constraint zooms to a clip option, if checked, will treat the clips individually and add zooms to the separate clips, but if left unchecked, it will treat the whole selection as one. So a zoom might spread into multiple clips. Then just let AutoCut zoom. It's again very quick. Sure, here I have three clips, but it does well too with a four to five minute segments. AutoCAD have been on the market for many years with their Premiere Pro plugin and them jumping into DaVinci Resolve in both the studio and the free versions is providing another time-saving solution for YouTube video editing. It's easy to install and it's intuitive to work with. Use my link in the description if you're interested and you can watch this video next.